Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I work as a cloud advocate at Microsoft. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy Windows Admin Center in an Azure Virtual Machine using a simple PowerShell script. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna deploy Windows Admin Center in an Azure Virtual Machine. And obviously we could just deploy a new Azure Virtual Machine, then download Windows Admin Center, install it and configure it. However, the Windows Admin Center team created a script which does basically all of that for us. And I will show you that in a second. So we go here and have a quick look at that script and what we're actually gonna do. Now again, I will link all the resources, links and documentations and everything and also that script uh, in the description below that video. Uh, so you can basically copy paste it. And what we're gonna do here, and I will talk a little bit about everything here uh, in just a bit, but what we're gonna do is first we're gonna download that zip file, uh, we're gonna unpack that, and then we run the deployment script with a couple of parameters. And I will talk about that in a, in a second, but let me first now download that. And you could run that on your local machine with Azure PowerShell installed and configured, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Cloud Shell. Um, so basically, if you don't know Cloud Shell, I will also link that. Um, but Cloud Shell basically is a web version uh, where you can run different shells. So make sure that you start up Cloud Shell and that you have PowerShell selected. And then you go to your home drive. And then basically, what we're going to do is run that command, which then basically downloads that file. And then we're gonna expand that file. And then we will see that we have here now that folder. So let's go into that deploy. And here you can see now we have that PowerShell script, which basically deploys our Azure virtual machine and configures WAC and everything in that virtual machine. Now let's have a look at the parameters we need to run. Again, there is a documentation out there which basically explains all the parameters, but what I wanna do here is, I will have, wanna have a quick look what I'm actually doing. So here on the top part, we have a couple of parameters, which basically says, okay, which resource group, virtual network, security group, um, name, subnet, key vault, where we like would store our certificate, um, the name of the certificate, location where we want to deploy it, the public IP address name, the size of the virtual machine I'm gonna have for um, Windows Admin Center, and which image are we gonna use. I also have the credentials for the virtual machine, so I'm like, how do I log in and how do I then log in to Windows Admin Center? And there is much, much more. Um, this, in this script I'm showing you is like to deploy a complete new installation of Windows Admin Center. You can also run that script and use an existing virtual machine, for example. So if you have a existing virtual network with already a couple of virtual machines in there you want to manage, uh, you can do that too. So this is just the configuration part of the script. Uh, and then here is actually what we're gonna run. So we're gonna use, run the deploy uh, WAC ACVM PS1 script with a couple of parameters. So again, I'm gonna say, okay, that's the resource group. That's the name of the virtual machine for the Windows Admin Center installation. The credentials I just defined above, the virtual network name, subname name, location, size, and the image. And then I say, okay, hey, I wanna like let Windows Admin Center uh, generate a self-assigned certificate. Again, if you have one, if you wanna do that in production, you should probably use one of your own. Uh, in that case, um, you can also configure that. And again, I'm gonna link that all so you can modify that script uh, depending on how you need it. So let's quickly copy and configure that. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I quickly go to the resource group and make sure that I have a name which I didn't use before. Um, so I can deploy that copy and we go into our um, cloud shell again paste that in and now if I do the credentials I'll quickly give it, enter my credentials here so 
The next thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to run this. And again, some of the, you can also see here, quickly go back here. Um, you can also see here that not all of the parameters I, I like configured there are used in, in, in the command I'm going to run. Uh, however, I just leave them in there so it's very clear. I can use them for if I modify the, uh, this part of the script so I can easily just move and copy that down if I want to do some additional changes. So let's go to the Azure portal and copy that. And now you can see I basically use these parameters and I'm going to run that script. And this will now start running. And again, you can see here, it will start creating the Azure resources for me. It will create the virtual machine with the virtual network, the subnet and the public IP address and everything. And at the end, it will also then install Windows Admin Center and configure Windows Admin Center for me. And again, this will take a couple of minutes to complete. Okay, so now the script completed and you can see here it created uh, the Azure Virtual Machine with the Azure Resource Group, it enabled PowerShell remoting, it downloaded the MSI file and installed Windows Admin Center and did a couple of other things to configure that. You can now see that we have here also like already configured the IP address and the port for the virtual machine running Windows Admin Center. So let's just quickly copy that URL. And now we have a look uh, if that works. So let's open that up. Obviously, since I used a self-signed certificate, um, it's going to give me that warning. So let's try with my credentials and try to log in. Oops. And you can see here, it starts now Windows Admin Center for me. You can see I get the first run experience. So let's just go through that. And you can see here, got my Windows Admin Center server and my gateway server here. So I can connect. And if I typed everything correctly, I can now manage my server here. And obviously I can also then add additional servers running in Azure. Uh, using that PowerShell remoting. So let's have a quick look what actually happened in the background and which Azure resources were created. So you can see here, these are all the resources which were created uh, running by that script. And if I go to the virtual machine, you can also see that it has a public IP address assigned and already a DNS name configured. That's the one we use to access it. Uh, we can also have a quick look at the network setup. So this is important here. Uh, we have opened up port 443, um, so we can access the portal from everywhere. Again, if you don't want that, you can also remove that and just use like a side-to-side -side VPN connection or a RDP connection to go into that VM. It also opened up um, PowerShell remoting. Again, from any to any, probably not the best way to do it. So if you're doing that in production, please make sure that um, you do that in a different way. But since we want to use it and remote management and more for a demo environment, um, this works quite well. Again, make sure depending on your requirement, if you deploy that in production or if you're doing just for a demo environment that you have different configurations there and make sure that everything is secure and not just accessible by everyone uh, in the world. So with that, I hope this gives you a great overview uh, about how you can deploy Windows Admin Center in Azure Virtual Machine using that script. Again, all the resources are linked under that video, again, with a couple of blog posts and some more information. If you want to know more, feel free to leave a comment, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.